want to be able to develop a relationship. We want something long term. We just don't want to go to the dance and go home. We want to go to a bunch of dances. We want to go for a long time. We're strategically located just outside, in, within the Truro, within the Truro and the municipal county of Colchester. We are fi we're presently figuring out a joint project that, we'll, that we're doing with both of them. So if you think it's fun having a partnership with one person, you should try to have a partnership with two. And they should be municipalities because it's, everybody has to get elected. It's a lot of fun. We have service agreements with both. Some of the county looks after some of our services they provide, the town provides others. But our, the town engineer, we have a monthly, uh, a monthly projects meeting uh, over different things that we're doing. Part of that agenda is the town of Truro, the town engineer comes to our meetings and we talk about things that are coming up. And a lot of times we get things fixed straight away. It's just that having that relationship and having that trust with one another. He, he, he puts on his schedule every Wednesday, the third Wednesday afternoon at 1.30 every month is our, is our meeting. And he's there at our meeting and it works the clockwork. It's a great uh, opportunity and a conduit for information from the town to the band and the band back to the town. Sometimes you have to negotiate a little bit more with municipalities and we got to all work together because sometimes we don't get the same return. This one project that we're working on is an interchange that's going to be up the highway. Uh, it is very, probably the person, the group that's going to get the most out of it is the town of Truro. We are second on that list and the county is probably just behind us. But there's sometimes you have to you have to participate in a joint partnership because it's the right thing to do because we have collectively we have access to a lot more than we would individually to be able to do that especially with the federal and the provincial government so sometimes we all don't get the same return out of it but the next project we may get the maximum we, we may be the ones getting the most return so it's just a matter of being able to use a little bit of common sense but most of the money in Millbrook the done through the Economic Development Corporation or through our other subsidiary companies all get all gets put into the one uh, the, the the one uh, consolidated statement and from that statement the how, how it's distributed out to the band members the band members there's a, a treaty grant that we give out that the band gives out twice a year for the minors who were under 19 that money is held in trust and, and managed by a TD management TD money management for us and that's how we distribute that but where most of, the, uh, most of the emphasis is on is most of the business and, and most of the business we do is done for the goodness, for the best betterment of the community. The money that's generated from that is, is turned back over to the band members. Also uh, through, the, through the dividends, but also it's reinvested in future economic development down the road so we're able to do more things. I spend probably three to four hours a day on the phone. Uh, talking to different people uh, about different projects for Millbrook. We probably talk 15 to 18 different people with different ideas every week. Three or four of those ideas move on to the economic development group that we can, we can share down the road. So I guess the, the biggest thing is if you have an idea, if you have something that you think will work, call us uh, from, from a supply point of view from a procurement or anything like that but also for the other thing that we do for our own community members we through the economic development we make a, we make a, a an equity contribution into businesses for for people to start businesses and we will do a, a certain percentage of the capital that's required to help start up business with startup costs now we will not finance inventory and stuff like that but we do contribute towards helping that entrepreneurial spirit out and for people that want to start businesses and I think that's probably one of the key factors that we could uh, we could improve on because I think uh, to be quite honest with you I think that there, there could be more there, there could be more done from an entrepreneurial point of view but we have to be approached but I think a lot of it is the same thing as I talked about myself have having to go out and see new clients sometimes it's it, it's that fear it's that fear that you're going to get rejected they're no they're not going to like me they're gonna they're gonna think it's a crazy idea you know what? There's no there, there, there's no crazy ideas 
The only crazy ideas are the ones that you don't present. So we're willing, if you got some ideas, feel, please feel free. However, one thing that we do require that when you do, that when, when, when you do come talk to us, we want those five things. We want to be able to develop a relationship. We want something long term. We just don't want to go to the dance and go home. We want to go to a bunch of dances. We want to go for a long time.